workmen were busy all day Sunday erecting barricades and stages in Havana's Revolution Square. Starting Monday, hundreds of thousands of Cubans are expected to pass through the square to pay their respects, culminating with a mass rally on Tuesday night. It was here that Fidel Castro gave many of his fiery speeches, which could last for hours. Fidel Castro may have dominated life in Cuba for more than half a century, but there are no statues to him and very few portraits. Now pictures of Fidel are appearing on buildings and placards as Cubans start to contemplate life without Fidel. I think that no change will take place because the people support socialism and support their leaders. Everything will be the same without the commandant. Everything will keep the same because he prepared us for this. He did prepare us for many years, and all of us who were born under the revolution must continue to fight for it. There were prayers on Sunday for Fidel Castro in many churches across the island. I came to church today for the soul of Fidel Castro. He was the man who taught us everything that we know, the man who educated us, who taught us how to live. In the early years of the revolution, Fidel had suppressed religion, but later revived relations and went on to welcome three Roman Catholic popes to Cuba. Many now wonder what further changes Cuba will go through now that El Comandante, the commander, Fidel Castro, is no longer here. Michael Voss, CCTV, Havana.